All right, we're back out to the kayak. It's been a little while. We're gonna be targeting some lingcod this morning, maybe some rockfish, who knows, um, but specifically lingcod. Um, and I got a new little lure that I haven't tried before. I wanna try out today. I'm kind of excited about it. I don't know if it's gonna work. I, I'm, honestly, it probably won't work, but on the off chance that it does, it's gonna be pretty epic. So um, first things first, I wanna thank Catchco for sponsoring today's video. They're the ones that hooked me up with this lure I'm about to show you. And once you see it, you're gonna know why I'm so excited about it. But anyways, thank you to them for sponsoring today's video and let's get out there. We're making our way out. Here's the lure I'm really excited about. It's this one right here. It's the Guggen Squad Contender. And uh, this is actually a little crappie pattern. So this is supposed to imitate a little crappie bait. It's a freshwater bait, but if you know anything about saltwater, you can probably already tell what I'm gonna say here. This, in my mind, looks exactly like a little blue rockfish, a little tiny one. And um, a lot of times when we're fishing out here with these rockfish, you'll get hitchhikers and they don't get hooked and sometimes they pop off right at the last minute. But this one has two big treble hooks on the bottom. Um, so we shouldn't have any problems there if this were to work. Like I said, it's a freshwater bait, so I have no idea. I'm pretty sure no one's ever used this in the salt. But that's the one we're gonna use right there. That's the one we're gonna start with. And there's another one that I'm even more excited about, and that's this one right here. It's the same thing, it's another Google Squad contender, but this is the seven inch. I think this is like uh, 3.5 maybe, or maybe four inches, I don't know. But this one looks exactly like the rockfish that I'm normally using for bait. So I think I'm gonna start off with this one, troll around for a little bit, but I'm actually more excited to use this one. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just start off with a big one. Go big or go home. We want to get those big ling cod. And in my opinion, if you want to get big ling cod, you got to use a big bait. So we're going to start off with this one. You know, I thought about, I actually tied this one up already, you can see, but just I'm just feeling this one right now. So we're going to tie this up. We're going to actually troll it around, try and get it right up off the rocks. Hopefully it doesn't get snagged. I think that's going to be the main problem with this because it's got those two big treble hooks. I think just snagging up is going to be a nightmare. So we're going to try to keep it off the bottom and see if some ling cod get fooled into thinking that this is a little rockfish. Look at the action of that lure. Try slowing down a little bit. So every time I'm using a new lure, I always like to, oh yeah, that's. I think that's even better. I always like to test it on the side of my kayak just to see what speeds like what, what action the lure is giving you at what speed. So right now I'm moving at like 1.2 miles an hour. Maybe I'll speed up a little bit. Yeah, so when I'm going slower, it's a nice like swimming like back and forth like this. And then when I go faster, it's more of like a, a twitch almost kind of thing. So I don't know what's gonna work, but if one's not working, obviously we keep trying until we figure out what, what's working best. And uh, that's the plan. So let's get it down there. Let's see what's down there. The main thing I'm trying to avoid here are snags. That's gonna be the biggest problem. So I definitely don't wanna be dragging. Actually, I'm gonna even bring it up a couple feet off the bottom because I'm just so worried about the snags. All right. Come and get it, Mr. Ling. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, there's a fish on here. Oh my God, I thought I was snagged. I seriously thought I was snagged, but it's a fish. Oh, stop, stop, stop. No joke, I thought I was snagged, but it's a fish. A big one too. I don't know, maybe it was snagged and a fish on. Where's my gaff? Oh my God. I don't know what happened there. I think it was snagged. Maybe it got hit while it was snagged. 
But there's definitely a fish on there now. Oh, look at that fish. He's barely hooked. Barely hooked, barely hooked. Uh, I don't know if this is a keeper or not. It's barely hooked. Oh, it's oh, it's literally just right on the skin. I'm surprised it hasn't come off already. All right, I'm gonna try to just get it without. Try to just loop this in the gill plate. All right, you know. What? Oh, there. All right. Well, hey, it works. That was the first ling on this little lure right here. That was just a barely, I, I think it was legal, but it was barely legal. And uh, I didn't want to stick a hole in it. So anyways, we'll get back down there. See if we can get another one. That was crazy. I'm still not really sure what happened. I think it was snagged. And then maybe a fish grabbed it while it was snagged or something. I don't know. I think it was a keeper, but it was close, so I didn't want to gaff it. It was like barely hooked right on the lip. Out of that, that umpire was like almost like... <laughs> swing, it was a swing strike! Here, you want to see the lure I'm using? Alright guys, we're, we're fishing with Nick Fish today, I'm going to show him this lure. See what he thinks of it. I'm gonna show you my lure too. Okay, we'll we'll show you his. We're both kind of using something a little different. Uh, light bait. Yeah. Little rockfish, blue rockfish. Oh, million views. We'll get back to fishing. Nick's gonna go catch some more. He, he might catch the one that I just kind of, you know, took for a ride and then. Release. We gotta get out of here. So, We're yeah. drifting into the rocks here, so. Alright. Alright. Let's get the big one. I just put a heavier weight on. Oh. Oh man. Nope, not a fish. But it is something. Oh I guess it is a fish. It's a starfish. Alright. We're gonna take a brief intermission from the, uh, the glide bait, whatever it's called, bite and go for some live bait. Got a little black rockfish here. And I'm almost, if I can just, if I, as long as I don't get it snagged, I'm almost 100% sure a link cod's gonna grab that. Yeah, I could see it too when you're, when you first hooked it. All right guys, little update. Just live bait, I don't know. I've been struggling a little bit. Nothing's hit it yet. Um, I'm not giving up hope. I'm, I know this thing will work. If, it, if I just get it in front of a link cod, I know a link cod will come and grab it. I just haven't got there yet. But Nick just landed, well, earlier he landed a really nice link cod. I think it was 32 inches, something like that. And then he just got a really big cabazon as well. I think it's like, I don't know, 20 inches, 22 inches, something like that, really big. But um, anyways, we still got the live bait here. We're working it. I'm gonna get, it's my turn next. Yeah, it's just holding on. Wow, Adam places. Adam does oh no no no. No no no. It's so hard by yourself. Oh no, it's hooked, it's hooked. It's hooked.
Oh. <laughs> that one wasn't the best gap shot, but we had to swing for that one. All right, I'm on the board. Yeah, I could feel um, like right before he hit, my rockfish was like trying to swim up. You, I get to like it's my weight was like coming up, and then just a lot of weight. Dude, that's a nice one actually. Yeah, it's probably like 20 feet. I don't know. Yeah, close. Look at these anchovies. So great. Oh, <laughs> did you get that on film? Yeah. Oh man, Jeez, those are fresh, kind of. One. Yeah, four of them. And yet, he still wanted a blue rock. <laughs> These fish are so, yes, so greedy. The whole time until the service, he wasn't even hooked. Like right at the last minute when I was about to gaff him, then he got hooked. I don't know, it's really hard to gaff a hitchhiker by yourself, on a, especially on a kayak. Cause you don't want to like, too like it's hard to bring it in close enough to get like you you basically have one shot at it and you got to get it close enough to the kayak to get it but once you get it closer like they're also scared of the kayak so it's hard so sometimes better just to sometimes i just swing hope it's on there not oh well so let's see yeah i think it's like 27 oh maybe a little less oh beautiful though that's beautiful skin yeah Except I got it right in the center. Yeah, 27. Nice. Not bad. Take it. Oh. That's a win. I think so. Oh, I just let it go. Dang it. Yeah. Yeah, it's keeper. Maybe about the same size as my first one. Dang. Oh, man, strong head shakes. Oh, do you... No, he's still on there. Here, Adam. All right, hold on one second. Oh. Oh. Maybe he's hooked. Yeah, I got one. I'm hopeful that this one might be actually hooked. But you never really know. Sometimes they just run off with it like that too. Kind of fun seeing you get these hits on you. I think it's a keeper. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Look at him just hold on to that thing though. Here, let me get the footage. He's got the whole rockfish in his mouth. Okay, ready? Just gonna pull them. Maybe just circle them right here. This little... <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny looking, dude. <laughs> so funny. Get off. Oh, there. See, just let go. Look at that. Oops. That was great footage. Yeah, that though. was I'll awesome. Send that to you. I mean, I, I've oh, actually I haven't hooked, but I've I've seen four link cod already. Only one was hooked. 
The other three were just, actually no, sorry, two, two were hooked. The other two were just swimming around with my bait. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today. I didn't really put in that much time with this little guy right here, but let me know you guys, oh, he's got a nice little tooth mark there in the back from maybe from that fish I caught. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Do you wanna see me bust this thing out in another video? I, it just looks so good. It's hard for me not to want to use this, but I mean, as you've seen, live bait is always, always really good for link cod, but it's fun to catch them on these things too. I mean, I feel like a big one would just go engulf this thing. You never have to worry about the hitchhikers like you do with the link, the live bait. I mean, you saw I lost three, was it three or four, two? I don't know how many. I lost a couple of link cod on the hitchhikers because they were just literally like if you've never seen a link cod before, you never, you know, link cod fish, literally they'll just grab onto the bait and hold it all the way to the top. You saw, especially on the last one, uh, Nick got some cool underwater footage. Hopefully it, it turned out for the video, but um, they'll literally just hold on all the way up to the top until like they think that something is really up. Like, you know, if you hit them with the, the net or with a gaff or something, then maybe then they'll let go finally and like, you know, panic and swim back to the bottom. But other than that they just hold on the whole time and one thing about this thing is you won't have to worry about it so let me know if you guys want to see this again and better yet if any of you guys have caught one on this bait send me a picture i'd love to see it and one thing that i know people are probably thinking is like why would you use this for rockfish or ling cod like it's such an expensive bait why would you want to you know risk it getting hung up in the rocks i think this is like a 15 dollar bait so I mean, it's not super expensive but definitely a little more pricey than you know, your average bait but but listen to this so catch go if you're a part of the carl's club they have this thing i think it's called the tackle insurance program or something like that and if you lose a lure that you bought with them as long as it's under 20 dollars, you file a claim and they will send you a brand new one free of charge so i was gonna do that in this video but i didn't end up losing the lure so didn't have to worry about it. But anyways, just another one of the many perks that you can get with the Carl's Club. So highly recommend checking it out. I think you can get four lures per year with this tackle insurance deal. So just the value of those four lures would already pay for your Carl's Club membership. Like if I lost four of these and got four new ones, it's already more than what you pay for the Carl's Club. So anyways, thank you to Catchco for sponsoring today's video. Like I said earlier, if you catch one on this or the smaller one, they also have this, this guy right here. There's a three and a half inch and the seven inch. If you catch one on either one of these, send me a picture. I'd love to see it. And one more thing with Catch Go. If you haven't seen their website or you haven't checked them out before, check them out now. And if you're on your first order of $25 or more, so say you wanted to get both of these lures, I think that's already put you, you know, qualifies you for the $10 savings that you can get with the code DIEHARD10 at checkout. So check them out if you haven't done so already. And if you have checked them out already, appreciate it. Thanks for checking them out. They've been a, a huge supporter of the channel. So really appreciate it of them. And anyways, like I said, next video is gonna be an interesting one. It's gonna be an adventure. Honestly, I don't even know what we're doing, but it's gonna be something completely different that I've never brought to my channel. And I've actually never done personally anyway. So it's gonna be epic. We're gonna be chasing some big fish. That's all I'm gonna say for now. But thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.